Now it's Wednesday, and that means it's time for our weekly dose of fashion and style from Jessica Michaud, the online style editor of the International Herald Tribune. Today, Jessica is here to tell us about where to go to find outfits for the holidays and the many end-of-the-year parties that dictate a dress code. How are you doing, Jessica? I'm doing well, and you? So, Jessica, where, where should we go to find frocks for all of these parties that are coming up in the next few weeks ahead of the new year? Well, in fact, I don't think you should be buying frocks. I think you should be renting them. Really? I, I, I thought that was only like an option if you're a man and you needed a tux. Well, you know, we're, it's, that's the past. I mean, it's no longer the era of, you know, the powder blue, bell-bottom tuxedoed and the ruffled shirt. Um, things have really changed. I guess it's one of the few positive points of the recession is that a number of brick-and-mortar stores and a number of online stores are launching that are um, uh, renting clothing. Uh, aspirational shoppers who in the past were able to buy, you know, a lot of one-hit wonder dresses um, now instead have this option of renting because they still want the quality, they still want the luxury even if it is only for one night. But I'm guessing though a lot of people will be concerned that maybe these dresses and uh, outfits there could be a bit boring and bland since they need to appeal to as many people as possible. It, could that not be the case? Wait, again, in the past that was the case. It was a lot of, you know, straight black dresses, um, very basic clothing. But today we're seeing major designers like Jean-Baptiste Valley, uh, Perenza Schuller, Matthew Williamson and Diane von Furstenberg are all available for purchase um, on these rental sites. Um, and in most cases the cost of a rental is about 10% of what it it would cost to actually purchase one of these outfits. Um, the most recent uh, online rental site is called renttherunway.com, and it runs really much like a like a regular retail shop. You've got um, you can shop by the designer, and you can also shop by the occasion. So if you have a, a meet the parent or a blind date or a black tie event, you just go to that section and you go ahead and and uh, uh, choose the dress that you want, and then you just block off four to eight days of, of time that you want to have the outfit, and then uh, and then you uh, and then you you get it for that amount of time with and then for no extra charge actually they have mm -hmm. this extra little um, thing that they do is that you can have a second dress the same dress in a separate size maybe a smaller size or a larger size to make sure that you actually get what you need for that special night okay so you basically need to rent all of your dresses uh, this holiday season but what about the rest as any woman would tell you like an outfit it's not only the dress itself there's also handbags there's shoes uh, what about that side of the story um, well I don't know of any place that rents shoes other than your local bowling alley but for the rest of it yeah absolutely <laughs> online there are a lot of great places they would to go look a bit weird perhaps uh, yeah, with, with, a, with, a, with a cocktail dress. dress yeah absolutely but um you know high-end jewelers have been renting jewelry for years um uh, to for major events of course the oscars is a great example of that um but there's a really wonderful website called um bag borrow or steal um which got a great shout out in the original sex in the city movie so it's uh, gone gangbusters it's branched out into other other areas and it's even given itself a new name called avail so um now you can get the the, the latest must have you know hottest luxury bags but you can also get great Gucci watches or even um, designer jewelry from from this website but the best thing about this website in my opinion is that um, you can actually purchase any of the items that you're renting in case you really can't part with it or I have to say I'm a bit weak for a bigger clunky timepiece on my wrist so that, that, <laughs> that sounds good that, that one uh, but Still, though, if we look at the business model of these websites and 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 so on and so these companies that that, that rent uh, that rent dresses, uh, I mean, there's still a mental block for a lot of people, isn't there, that they don't want to wear something that someone else has worn before. Uh, yeah, I mean, you there there is that, but you've got to understand that included in the the rental price is, of course, a dry cleaning fee. So everything is dry cleaned in between, you know, the usages. But you've also really got to think of it as the girlfriend service. That's what I like to call it. In any case, I mean, I don't think there's a woman out there who hasn't borrowed a dress or a top from a friend. Um, for some big event and a lot of the websites the new websites that are coming out have a real um, uh, invitation only system going on so there's a vetting service that happens so renting clothing it comes more natural to to women than it does to men um, I think it's probably um, easier for a man to rent a piece of clothing it's much more personal for a woman to rent something all right uh, I imagine there's an online version as well of all this sort of close swapping going on um well you know yeah there's been um, a real grassroots um a, you know uh, thing happening where women are getting together especially using social networking sites like facebook and twitter and and uh, myspace so that women are coming together kind of like a luxury version of, of a tupperware party and exchanging products and um you know there's even food and drink and maybe sometimes beauty treatments in fact beauty salons and nail parlors are becoming hosts of these events so that they can drum up new business and bring in clientele so that's a that's a big thing 
renting. All right. One quick question. What, what do you have your eye on for the holiday season when it comes to renting? Oh, well, I'm not going to tell because I want to make sure I get it for the day I want it. All right. That sounds good. Thanks very much, uh, Jessica Michaud, the online editor of Style and Fashion at the International Herald Tribune. And with that, we're going to wrap up Culture today, as well as the morning edition here at France Bank. Yeah, there'll be more headlines coming up for you right after the weather.